Welcome back adventurers to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are pers pursuing our quest to find Dandelion today, but we have to meet Sultan in the Kingfisher Inn after sundown, so maybe we can do something else before we go there. Though there's not too much we can do, I think, before it gets too late. So we could either look at one of these question marks. I think they are fresh from when we read this board. We got so many question marks. That is crazy. <laughs> and uh, maybe I was thinking to grab the Witcher gear here. Um, but there is no close fast travel point. I mean, we could do this, go down here, grab it, but then I'm pretty sure it will be later than sundown. We can try there. Oh, let's ride. Hey and maybe we find a shirt on the way. <laughs> that would be amazing. Hmm, it's further away than I thought. Coach, get out of the way. We should coin up. Can we get it out of the sky? Might be too far away for our. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we are fighting with our fists against the wyvern. When did he put his sword away? Roach, get away! I see the chest. When? Okay. Calm down here. Had an egg. Mm, that wasn't really worth it, but hey, <laughs> we can sell it, no problem. Okay, now it's three forty, so we have a bit of time left. Let's go here. Should be close. I think we are already there. Whatever it is. A monster nest. Oh, oh these guys. Come on. Anybody volunteers to explode? Yep. 
is a nice chain reaction. Oh, oh, oh. Get out. Where's the nest? Here. Let's get rid of that first. Nest needs to be destroyed. There's another one. The devourer. Ooh. He explodes layer. That's quite enough. I think it's only one more hit. Oh, he doesn't. At all. That's uh Oh, not what I wanted. <laughs> he doesn't have any health left. I wanted to fire him up a bit so that he dies on his own. Oh, he won't. Yeah, because of that. You're fine there. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now it's... what time is it now? 4.13? There's something we can loot? Oh, no, not that bad. Oh, get it. Oh, there's a merchant. Oh, it's the same, I think, that we met in the last episode. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Does he have money? He does. So, there goes my crap. Uh, I think we can also sell him these things that we don't want. Not the Nilfgaardian boots. I should store them before I accidentally sell them. Cavalry trousers, hunting. What's that? Ah, yeah, my new guardian ones. Lyrian, Cavalry, X-Men. Um, we don't need that. And Assassin. Oh, oh, he ran out of man money. But he can take this. Although the prices are not good, but better than being over encumbered, right? And crap he can take to... Very nice. The skull. Ha. Farewell. Pretty good, pretty good. Now next would be Next would be the Witcher gear. Oh, Where's Rochat? Maybe we can do it. I mean we can uh, fast travel back. So that would be pretty good. I think we cleared the wood. Oh, not completely. Uh, that's where that cave was. Um, we need to get across the bridge though, right? Slower. Otherwise we got stuck. Oh uh, no, I think it would be even good to take that route and then swim a bit. Ooh, bandits. Where would that be? Somewhere here? How far can we ride is the question. Ooh, there was somebody. Ooh. Come on. You can do it, Roach. I believe in you. Yep, and I think here we have to swim. Slow now. Whoa. See you on the other side. Oh, oh. No, it's a man. Yeah, it's an Ulfgarian soldier. We're fine. I thought it would be a monster. I saw you. Move it. Now that is where that camp has been, right? So I wonder what we missed here. 
a ruin maybe? Is that? Yeah, that might be it. Oh, hello. Whom do we have here? Where's the witcher sign? There it is. Oh yeah. Hmm. I want to look around some. Okay. Pretty cool. Nothing here. I think we have to kill that beast. Or not? An apple. Another apple. Oh, they are holding hands. Dang. That is sad. didn't see me yet. Where's the gear? Oh, it saw me. Yeah, four tiles are... I think much tougher as basilisks and um, what we just fought. Uh -huh. Didn't get me this time. Oof. Let's fire a bit. Huh. There's no cave or something. Must be here somewhere. Oop. Oh, there's a chest. Nice was an enhanced food diagram and uh, yeah that one is done nice is there anything else here there's someone or something no i think that was it it was only that yeah then there is a herb very cool. Now we go to the closest fast travel point and travel back into Novigrad. And I think it might be the inn at the crossroads because we don't have to swim. I mean, Urston is closer, but we can ride. So let's, yeah, let's, let's get to Roach. That might be the quickest way. That roach waited. Isn't that... We have been here, right? Oh! Trader's notes. I'd always thought myself a simple trader. A man who buys here and sells there and makes a bit of coin for himself in the doin. But yesterday I learned I constitute what's called a strategic risk and so cannot cross the bridge the Redanians control. Who knows what I have in my wagon, the surgeon said. Maybe I'm smuggling weapons, maybe I'm carrying spies' reports. When I said I'd nothing to fear from my bundles of cloth and lace, and that the only letters I'm carrying are from my dear wife, the surgeon slapped me across the face with his cloth and ordered me to, and I quote, fuck off, or else I would soon be seeing more stars than many an astronomer. 
As you can see, eloquence and good manners do not seem to be subjects of much importance at the Redanian Officers' Academy, though one must admit the soldier did display a certain amount of linguistic, cr linguistic creativity. <laughs> well, life goes on. I've hired a few mercenaries and a guide to help me ford across the river near the bridge. Once across, I'll blow the church in a kiss and continue on my way. Mm, not really. Bit of pure silver there. Huh. Okay. Cool. We missed that the first time we went through here. Um, no thank you. We missed a lot of things. Oh, another rusty sword and I took it and another one. Dang. <laughs> Let's take the battle axe too. Okay, Roach, we can continue. Now, where was that marker? Not that I miss it now. I think here in that village. Right? Should be. Let's have a look. Yep, Urston. Here it is. And uh, then we got everything here. I think, well, there's a question mark left. But that's fine. Okay, here we go. Back to Novigrad. Now I think, yeah, we can just um, directly travel into Hierarch Square. And it is sundown. Well, that worked out pretty nicely. Whoa. That's plastered with stuff. The Kingfisherin proudly invites you to nightly performances by Priscilla the Calonetta, guaranteed to tuck every heartstring. That's where we are heading to, right? What's that? That's about dandy, isn't it? Uh, nope. It's the same. Huh. A lot of advertisement. I hope it's that good. The kingfisher. All oh, right, the king kingfisher is a bird. already. Come on, let's find some arse quests. Should start soon. to find 
Samarian boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. You come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla known also as Calanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Parts of people I could fight in. Seems Dandelion left nothing out. <laughs> Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. What? Yeah, who's that? Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. I need to wake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. 
urgent matter that couldn't wait, you said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got hmm. bugger all to do here. Head That's all very interesting. Got and uh, now we meddle and with I'll the wait. underground bosses. Geralt! Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, <laughs> only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. At times? Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Hmm. Take care now. I mean, she's nice. Brothers, brother Adelbert's history. I think we read that already. Some food. Ballads and hymns. That's also the one. Yeah, the woolen storm we read. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's very personal. Uh, sorry. Letter to Dandelion. My dearest Dandelion, since you told me of your plan to rob the city, city's kings of crime. I can't think of nothing else. Several times I have wished to talk to you, to drive this mad notion from your head. But you are never at the Rosemary in Thyme when I visit. I hope the lesser evil is true and you are busy preparing for the heist and not avoiding me. I believe I want to believe that this entire matter is about something more than mere gold and mid-to-life hunger for adventure. But either way, I would much prefer you abandon it. Surely you can find another way to solve your old friend's problem. We both know quite a few folk in Novigrad, many of whom owe us a favor. Perhaps it's time to call them in? Think it over before you get into deep trouble. Well, too late, it seems. Hmm. Kurt Desart. Yes? Uh, you, okay. Count Kurt Dysart. Oh, Dysart. Are you here regarding the contract? Hmm. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? Oh. I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? Um, but the, very obviously, school of the wolf. School of the wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. Uh, though his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. 
Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Nethergrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now I've learned the building is set to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Mm. He seems to be Let's rich. Maybe we can haggle first. a bit. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minutes. <laughs> Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Oh, at least 300. Or maybe 335. Yes, agreed. Oh. That was easy. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Is the key. And good luck. Hmm. Door slamming shut. Which one is that? Um door slamming shut 24 okay crazy huh but uh, we are on the way to get tuner <laughs> so this has to wait Talk to the woman from Velen who accused me of murdering. I mean, I remember her being the owner of that pub. But she's not here anymore. I think. No. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's go to the bathhouse then, shall we? Oh, it's there. Oh, we don't have a shirt by any chance. No. We should go to our uh, storage though. And maybe sell the rest now that we are here. Maybe I. Oh, he's not here. Okay, never mind. What building that is? Winds howling. Are they? I thought this was a brothel, but it's a bathhouse. That's even better. Dang, that is fancy. Can we now enter? Ah, oh, we can knock. Anybody there? Open up. to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Uh-huh. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm Happen. Uh, hello Happen. What happened? The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go.
globe here. Your equipment will be safe. Okay. Where? Here? Oh. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Can I? Huh. No, I cannot access it anymore. Ooh. Hi, Whitehead. Nice bun you have. <laughs> you were right. I don't have a bun. He blush. Oh, I need a rest. So it is a bathhouse, but with special offers. Ow! Is that a bodyguard? It's quite busy with bodyguards. Fancy. Yeah, it's only bodyguards. There are no guests at all. I was made for loving. Is she? Fucking talked enough. We're wasting time. I've got an invite. Chose not to come. Love you. Show you what he thinks of us. So I've got an invite. Can I listen in of more? With whom is he talking? any better from the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountains okay let's take a quick bath oh I can't jump in <laughs> okay Lovely. so only the feet Did get she? wet fair enough easy cleaver or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? Hmm. So we have them all together, but the one we want want to to catch. Yeah, let's let's Reuben introduce me. I'd like to know what he knows. I think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. Whatever oh. they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. <laughs> oh, we only get a club? Can we? Oh, ah. Um. Let's spin up. Oh, that's the dwarf. Never mind. Let's help the dwarf. Uh huh. How many are here? Oh, that's it. Go 
Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Hmm. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Hmm. It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna find Horse Sun? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved, then. Now, mind showing some added compassion? Could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might, he might not, but he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around, but be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. I'm um, thinking about all of that is Dijkstra rings a bell, but at the moment I don't know exactly who he was. We surely met him in The Witcher 1 or 2 or end in both, uh, but I don't really know what role he played at the moment. I have to read on that, but I think he got an entry in our, um, not Beast Cherry, <laughs> in our characters. Uh, but yeah, let's chat first. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. 
I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? Mm. <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Wasn't Roach? The intelligence? Oh, ah, he was a special unit, right? Hmm. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Hmm. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So care for what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildor. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real Witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything, not anyone, and especially not the sorceress of the lodge. Okay. He conspired with Philippa. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Hmm. So he was betrayed by her too. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I work for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? 
course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. <laughs> I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Hmm. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? <laughs> who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? It depends. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. I think I know where that leads. Don't fall. <laughs> That's tricky. There. Oh, oh, we fell. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we move on. Ah, uh, not my character. Dijkstra. The individual masquerading as Siggy Reuben was, in fact, none other than Sigismund Dijkstra, the former head of Redanian intelligence, and a man Geralt and I had had many dealings with in the past. He had fallen out of King Radovid's favor. And nothing had been heard of him for many years. Now it seems he had finally decided to emerge from the shadows, but instead of returning to high political wrangling, he uh, dove deep into the criminal underground and quickly surfaced as one of its leading figures. So he did not show it, so he did not show it in his own way. Dijkstra respected Geralt, even though the very thought of their last meeting brought a pained grimace to his face. The two had found themselves standing in each other's way during the coup on Thanet Island. The stalemate was quickly broken when Geralt summarily broke Dijkstra's leg. The spy's life story would make for a positively enthralling adventure tale. A victim of Philippa Eilhardt's intrigues, he had been forced to flee Redania at breakneck speed, or have his own neck broken by assassins. For a certain time he sought refuge in Falf lands, but in the end he decided to return to the free city of Novigrad. Thanet Island. I wish I would remember properly if that was an episode in a previous Witcher, and it sure was. Oh, but, but, stop that now! Man, Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. 
but her. But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadler. Oh. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. <laughs> Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Hmm. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? Uh, the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Well, try it. <laughs> Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. <laughs> All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. <laughs> Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes head falls. Hmm. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. 
actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, do you see them? Bart, you hold. What see? Boom! Got what? Breathe. Shroom. Sleep go. Your phone gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonce, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Uh-huh. And here we are. Can we talk some more with Bart? Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute. Bart, no minute, Scott. Bart rocks, Scott. Rocks want? Yeah, Bart rocks. I mean a minute to talk. You mean... Bart nice? <laughs> One more time. Can we talk? <laughs> Siggy you like. Talk me with. Oh. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. Piss. Hmm. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piece other. Not animal or that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In a tree. What? Where... Where... But... Turned it on. So, it was his own fart? <laughs> All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Your phone go. But God, now nothing. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up alone underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When, but, not much do. But, think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? 
Rocks. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. 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 <laughs> He's awesome. Oh, oh. got dark all of a sudden can i by the way go back for a second and uh loot the where was the letter oh gosh that's a pig um and can i loot the the bodies of our saloon enemies it seems so right oh maybe i can't Yeah, I don't seem to be able to get out of here. Oh, here. There we go. Let's see what we can find here. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Mm-hmm. Now where's that moldy mist back there? I think we have something against poison anyway. But hey. Pipes great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last like tore it from the wall. There. Most probably. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. So we follow it? The current, I mean? Ah. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Yeah, but the rest of the walls seem to be intact. So let's take that potion that he gave us. Um, where might that be? That's the magic lamp. Old wine. Oh, here. Yeah. Can we make it? No, but he gave us a recipe, didn't he? Well, never mind. Um, where is it? At uh, R. Oh, it's in our food slot. Uh, I thought witches' <laughs> potions were vile. <laughs> oh gosh. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Fine grating. Oh, it's the same. Couldn't push much through that. That's the hissing sound. That's just the other way round. I hear you, Drowner. Damn Loud me. and clear. It's only one, right? Yeah. Drowners. Of course. I think I shouldn't use fire here. Uh, let's. Oh, oh man. Because I will explode myself with it. Ugh. Come on. But maybe I could get into. Terrain. Let's quin up. And then maybe burn him. 
Let's see if it burns. No, it doesn't burn. We are good. But you are dead anyway. Okay. Oh, the current is on our map as a blue stream. That's funny. Was mean. Ooh, there you go. Now, what was that? It's gone. Another trinket. Ah, okay. We pick it up. Can we pick up that one too? It's, no, it's, it vanished. Ah, there's the dead guy. The Can I loot him? There is something. Looks like a dead guy too. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, Draners will never stop congregating. Yet another shiny bubble. A gold ring? take it there there okay we have to burn the bodies and the other guy was here there. maybe now the drenos will go feed elsewhere so it was then the line getting close We have been in here, so I think we looted everything already. Mm, bottom of a container, silver cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part, must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. Mm. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. That's a tasty bomb. Gold coin. Trail ends here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Where's the gold coin? I don't see no gold coin. Okay. Oh, I cannot return here. So we go back anyways. To the sewers. Our poison resist is still on. We are good there. Don't get lost now.
There we are. Ah, no, that's happen. Ooh, back there. Oh wow. Oh, I like that place. Can I steal books? Slaughter of Sintra, we know that one. They're not easy to loot. <laughs> Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, I know the one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novograd. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. The perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Okay. Let's inspect. Nothing here. Okay, cool, cool. What's with that one? 
Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Hello. <laughs> So, we found the one, didn't we? Oh, there's more? Yeah. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Way. What about happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, Brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Hmm. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. You merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Hmm. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Don't be so rude. Okay, but that's a cool investigation. Huh. I kind of like it. But uh, we could, we'll continue it in the next episode. Thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.